or we discuss some types of uh, of uh, uh, improper integrals, but still there are some other types as well. We can just vary and combine types like so. So consider the integral from zero to infinity f x dx, where f x is given by one over square root of x times one plus x. Yeah, so we see that this function has an asymptote on the left hand side, so at zero, a vertical asymptote, and uh, we also have a infinite interval. So we also have an unbounded interval. And this is the other kind of improper integral that we discussed before. So how to deal with this one? Well, we'll just cut the interval zero infinity in two pieces. And uh, we take some number, let's say one. So we calculate the integral from 0 to infinity as the integral from 0 to 1 plus the integral from 1 to infinity, yeah, like so. And by doing so, we solve for two different improper integrals and add the outcomes if they both exist. Yeah, so it may be good to notice that uh, it's not hard to find a primitive in this case. So you can either uh, get there through substitution of u equals the square root of x, or, or you see it immediately that 2 times the arctangent of the square root of x is a primitive of the integrand. Yeah, 2 times the arctangent of the square root of x plus the integration constant. This is the class of all primitives of this function. So if we look at the left integral, the integral from 0 to 1 of fx dx, then this one equals the limit for t t to zero plus, yeah, since zero is the vertical asymptote of the function. So we get a limit for t to zero plus of the integral from t to one over fx dx. And uh, each such integral from t to one can be evaluated by evaluating the primitive in the integration boundary. So we evaluate two times the arctangent of the square root of x in between t and 1. Yeah, so we get 2 times the arctangent of 1 minus 2 times the arctangent of 0. Well, the last number equals 0, and the arctangent of 1 equals pi over 4, so we get 1 over 4 pi times 2 equals a half pi. Well, similarly, we can calculate the integral from 1 to infinity over fx dx, and now we take the approach of non-bounded interval. So we take the limit for t to infinity of the interval 1 to t. Yeah, so here we express the definite integral for each number t larger than 1. We get an integral 1 to t of fx dx, from which we can use the primitive again to and evaluate it in between 1 and t. And in this case, we get as a limit for t to infinity, 2 arctangent square root of t goes to 2 times pi over 2 minus half pi. So this equals a half pi. So now we see that, uh, see that the two separate integrals uh, exist and we can add them. So the integral from 0 to infinity of x dx now equals a half pi plus a half pi and equals pi. 